Hello guys, this is Ratu498 and this is a uh, 1v1 live uh, live commentary, uh, commentary battle on Shogun 2 Total War. And uh, it is between uh, Gerudo Harbour and RW Emperor. And this is a uh, commentary for the 1v1 uh, Agony competition that's going on at the moment. And I'll just run you through Harbour's build. This is Harbour in the pretty colours. Uh, we have got uh, lots of Najinata Warrior Monks there. Some Matchlocks. Some Najinata Samurai. Some Monk Cav. Some more Matchlocks in the flank. And some more Nagenata Samurai at the back, and some uh, Nagenata Attendants. So that's that build, and over here we have got Emperor's build. And they are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, uh, and sword, uh, 9 sword units, 3, 6, uh, 8 sword units, we'll call them 8. And uh, we've got some mixed Katana and Nodachis, right away through the line. Cav Force, 1 Great Guard, 1 Great Guard, and a Nagenata Attendant. And they're both moving on to the Sword Dojo. So this is the place to be by the looks of it. And over here we have got the uh, Morale Dojo. And we've got two National Arts Attendants. And both from the same stats. So that will be whoever gets the best charge off first will win that. So we've got a couple of Cav coming in straight away. And they're going to come straight in here. Onto these Sword Units. Very, very little spear support. Oh, that blood goes in there. Look at that little guy. Very, very little... Um, Spear support going on around here, so <laughs> it's not really going to be too difficult to get decent hits off like that. And they didn't, not that many died, to be honest. I would have probably expected more than that off the charge. Only 16, so there's 14 died there. So not really great. Uh, the great guard came in and chased them away. But as you can see here, Harbour has got himself slightly up, raised up on the hill, and he's going to move up above the hill now. So he's going to be able to take this, and he's going to be in a position where, when his opponent wants to attack, or when he wants to attack, he can um, do it downhill. So that's going to be his advantage now from going up high. And he should be able to take the Sword Dojo as well, unless his opponent attacks, so he's going to be in a bit of a problem there. So we have got the National Auto Attendants over here, and they're both sitting over here by this Morale Dojo, and they're going to hopefully uh, get fighting in a second. Uh, National Auto Attendant up here from uh, the Emperor, and they were in there basically to try and stop him from taking the uh, Sword Dojo so quickly. So as you can see now, Harbour's positioning himself up on this hillside. There we are. And I will just pick this back up for you when uh, something interesting happens. So it looks like something interesting is just about to happen. Oh, maybe it's not. Thought it was there for a second. We moved down the hill here with the uh, Naji Monks. And all of Emperor's forces are hiding in this little forest. I'm not entirely sure who's attacking this one. Uh, name first. I think it's Harbour who's actually attacking. I'm not entirely sure. But here come the swords. So If he's going to attack uphill, he's probably going to be faced with quite a bit of a problem getting up this hill and out of the dirt. <laughs> I love the blood DLC with the old matchlocks firing it. So these matchlocks fired off managed to do quite a lot of damage. Uh, here we've got some um, Legendary Attendants going in the front. Over here quickly you can see that the Morale Dojo will get taken by Emperor if you wanted it. So all the swords are being held up now on a couple of national attendants while the matchlocks are still firing in. Cav came around the flank. Yeah, look, couple of, uh, one great guard unit there. But these matchlocks are really doing some devastating damage at the moment, to be honest with you. And they're getting held up by these uh, national samurai there. And units coming in here for the charge down here. So they're going to get a little downhill charge on them. Cav as well. And these uh, sword units are actually getting pretty demolished really quite quickly. As you can see here, down to 65, down to 56, down to 53. Cav came through there to try and take out the matchlocks, but um, as uh, Harb is running a pretty much all spear build, Cav really isn't a problem to him at all. The only thing that is a problem is these swords are going to be better quality. 20 attack, but now he's got the sword dojo harbour, his attack's just the same, so he's going to be able to do quite well against these sword units now. As you can see, his flank's now been demolished, and Cav are coming through here. More Naji Monks. Uh, he's going to take him back up the hill, is he? No, they're going to go in. Personally, I'd have probably brought them around the back. There's a little gap here we could have snuck them through. And we've got a couple of units in the rear. Some Najinata uh, Samurai in the rear there. We managed to kill all the cat off, off that side. And down here, looks like he's actually um, winning down here, Emperor, to be honest with you. We've got Naji Monks in there, the cab. And they're not going to do a huge amount of damage because there's also a great guard in there as well. <clears throat> but here it looks like uh, Harper's going to be able to wrap around the flank on these guys in a second. So as long as he can keep one unit in there to hold these guys up, 
then he should be able to wrap around the flank in a second when this unit gives. There we go, this unit's going to give now. This flank's been destroyed. And as soon as he manages to get a rear charge on these guys, then that'll be pretty much it. So another not to attendance in there, they're getting killed off. School for not not an auto attendant there. <laughs> Spinning that little spear around. So this is a good game to both players. So that is where this replay has finished. Uh, this was a win to Harbour. As you can see, he's got loads of units left, so it probably wouldn't have been too difficult. Match logs as well. And also some cav and stuff. So it would have been a pretty comfortable win uh, for him. So we're going to move straight into the next game. Sorry that replay cut short. Sometimes it does that. It must be a little bit bugged. Hello guys, this is the second battle between uh, Harbour and Emperor, and we're going to run through their builds. This is Harbour again, it's pretty... I'm actually a little bit jealous, he has a better colour banners than me. I might have to change mine. Uh, so we've got, it uh, looks like the same kind of build again. Lots of Naji Monks, Naji Attendants, uh, Naji Sams, Matchlock, Matchlock. Yeah, it looks pretty much like the same kind of build. Uh, this time I think we've got a couple of Light Cav and a Monk Cav. And over here, because he lost out in the dojo last time, I think he's going to take a little bit more precaution. He sent two Nottenato attendants over to the dojo this time. But, so, <laughs> Emperor also sent an extra unit over there as well. He's also got a sword attendant over there as well. So, Emperor's got a sword attendant and Nottenato attendant over there. And here's his build. And this time he's brought more spears. It's a clever idea. It's the last time, really, he got uh, a little bit destroyed from the cab charges at the very, very beginning. But here we've got uh, three Yari Ashigaru, it looks like. And we've got and we've got Mix Nodachi and Katana Sams, yes, three, six, seven of them. And up on the top of the hill we have got one Great Guard, two Great Guard, and his General. And in the back we've got a National Auto Attendant. So this time, <laughs> this is basically like um, a reverse of what happened last time. Uh, Emperor's this time gone up onto the hillside. Harbour's now going to have to take the lower ground, but he, I mean he doesn't have to take the lower ground. He could run up there if he wanted to, but... He doesn't have to. Oh, over here, I think he's going to be content in trying to get this uh, morale dojo first, to be honest with you. He's got his cab coming in behind. And it looks like he's going to go straight into these guys here. Yeah, so I think he's going to try and take this uh, morale dojo before doing anything else, to be honest. And cab in the rear of these National Artillery attendants won't last for a long sword unit. Yeah, they're both going to go instantly. So he's going to go for that morale dojo first. Probably a clever idea. To be honest, because he's I mean, he's gonna have to try and attack up this hill. And uh, I'm not entirely sure how easy that's gonna be, to be honest, especially as it looks like it's gonna be a spear wall to face as well. So we're gonna have to see how that goes. As you can see over on this side now, he's gonna secure the morale dojo. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna wait and um, I'll start recording again when the um, battle kicks off. Oh no, maybe not. Maybe I won't. Hence if he's gonna start skirmishing on him. Might have to make him attack. Yeah, so it looks to me as if Emperor is the defender in this one, maybe. But he's going to have to attack anyway, because the matchlocks, having the missile units isn't just uh, good for destroying units, it's also good for making your opponent attack, making them make mistakes, and basically just doing things that you don't, that they don't want to do. So you can make your opponent make mistakes by having these kind of units around. And as you can see now, he's making a mistake. He's coming down this hill. He doesn't have to come down that hill. He technically could have pulled back up. But with the matchlocks around, eventually he would have had to attack. Personally, I think he probably rushed in just a little bit early. He didn't have to do it just then. But we've got uh, Yarash Go gone in. All the sword units have gone straight into the centre here. That uh, probably isn't a wise move. Too, too many units bunched up together. You want to try and select them onto different targets as best as possible. Uh, good selection here by Harbour. He's ignoring those units there and he's going straight for this great guard unit and he's demolishing it with those matchlocks. As you can see there, look, they're getting heavily depleted. 14 left by the end of the first volley inside. So, over here we've got Cav unit coming down. Great guard, but we've got spears in there, so they're not going to be very effective at all. The sword units, as I say, they're all bunched up, so really, it's going to be really easy to try and defeat these kind of units. Personally, I probably would have moved this uh, National Arts Monk around and flanked these units by now. I think that's maybe what he's doing now. Uh, those matchlocks should be moved out. And down here, it looks like... That Harper's doing a great job at the moment on this flank. Those cav won't last with those um, monks around down there. These monks have done a decent job against these uh, Yayasha Go. And all the sword units in the centre are probably going to cause him a little problem now. 
as he hasn't been able to get behind. As you can see, his flanks are secure, both flanks. So he hasn't been able to get behind. On this flank he has, and he had some cav units coming in behind. So these guys are yellow, as you can see, and they're going to take some serious morale shocks with the other cav unit coming in the front as well. So one of them's just about route away by the looks of it, and the other one's going to go as well. So that flank's going to be pretty much one off. Down here, as you can see, the monks are beating up the um, National Auto Attendants and the Irish Go. We've got cav coming around the back, though, some great guard coming in there. Probably should have used them a little bit quicker, just in case his um, anvil gets <coughs> uh, destroyed and routed. But as you can see, there's a chain route going on now in the centre. As cav units come in the rear, that's the problem with bunching your units up. You get one cav unit coming in the rear, and all of a sudden, all your units decide to run away like babies. And really, that's, that's such a big problem. So this looks as if it's 2-0 to Harbour, so that was a good game to both the players. Um, good luck to Harbour in the following rounds, and I hope everyone enjoyed the video. Please rate, comment, subscribe. The links to the Agony 1v1 tournament will be in the description. Um, and that's it guys, thanks a lot, and I'll see you later on. Bye bye.